DC, I'm almost too anxious to commentate this one, but that's what we're paid to do. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, the underway. We can call the fight, but we can also sit here as fans, because when you get a chance to watch these two guys compete, it is just an honor, it's a privilege, and I didn't even have to buy my ticket. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you wanna let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Diaz. Just out of range with that strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch by Diaz. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Oh, and he lands the front kick there. Not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to land that strike. As you saw with Anderson, he took it up to his chin because normally it goes to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him there. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just misses there with the left. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Beautiful punch. Final seconds of round one. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. It's all about the money. It was three back, cash, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. So 44 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And a pretty efficient effort thus far. 62% accuracy on the strikes against Nate Diaz. Nice punch there by Diaz. A really strong leg kick there by McGregor. Goes to the body there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching you with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, 
you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Straight punch land. His lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Trying for a submission now. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Beautiful movement. Hips work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. How about those five minutes? All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. 79 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Pretty good connection rate as well, landing with 59% accuracy tonight against Nate Diaz. Nice jab there by Diaz. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, geez, Louise. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. <laughs> Big punch lands through the middle. Back and forth we go! <laughs> Under two minutes. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent Ooh. left and right. He's so He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Versus 
and Ganu, and you know they still haven't found Alex Overeem's head. Just missed with the left there. How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. show up and that's exactly what he did tonight he used every bit of his skill to get the job done ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes ten seconds of round number four declaring the winner by knockout the notorious Connor McGregor well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was 